I want you to understand that when I speak the word of God or when I declare Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior and when I let you know that Jesus Christ is King, when I let you know he's the Lord of our Lords, when I tell you that he is the Son of Man and no matter what you do, it doesn't change that. That's a fact. You have a choice to accept your inheritance or you have a choice to live outside of your inheritance. It's just like a wealthy man, you know what I mean? And you don't want to follow the rules of your father. So you get cut out of the wheel. And that's what it is. Since you have chosen to live your life outside of God, which is an abomination, that means that you've chosen a life of sin. So when I speak and I declare and I decree by sharing with you the word of God, by announcing that Jesus Christ is Lord of Lords and King of all Kings, what makes you upset isn't you because we battle not against flesh and blood, but demonic principalities and and high places, right? So it isn't you. It's what's hosting your vessel. And so when I speak truth to power, which is the word of God, which is sound doctrine, which is the standard in which we all should live our lives. What dies in you when I speak and what rattles in you and what gets you so upset is the idols and the altars that you have set up within your spirit that have absolutely nothing to do with God. And when I speak the word of God. I speak anointed fire and it crushes your altars and dismantles your idols. And so now you think you're upset. Greater is he who is in me. And it is he who defeated what's in you. So you got to make sure coming into alignment with the truth becomes something that you learn how to do every day. Because this flesh that we reside in wants to war with God. The enemy is carnal minded. This is why Jesus said, leave it all, pick up your cross and follow me. Follow me. Leave it all, pick up your cross and follow me. So when I share the word of God, it, it, it this has nothing to do with you and I. Scripture also states the battle is not yours. Vengeance is mine. He also says, touch not my anointed. So when I speak, it don't got nothing to do with you and I. This battle is not ours. It has always been good versus evil. But because you come into alignment with wickedness and sin, you wait on moments to slay the righteous. So when we speak the word of God, what your ears hear because you aren't in alignment with the truth is someone being holier than thou or judgmental or how dare she, wasn't she just doing this? You choose not to accept your inheritance and your heritage, you choose that. You choose to sit outside the house and hate from the outside while you look at in. And then you go around and you cry and you complain about God not being real because he didn't answer your prayers that one time. I'm here to inform you that he does not answer the prayers of the unrighteous. And I know you want to be like, well, what makes you righteous? Nothing makes me righteous. I'm affiliated with righteousness. My inheritance is righteousness and holiness. It is through Jesus Christ that I am associated with righteousness. You see how I was telling you, you have an inability to align with the truth. You would rather align with the lie. Satan is the father of lies. And when you come into alignment with him by living a flesh led life, you're on the outside looking in. So when you do those prayers, you have to repent and ask God for forgiveness. And I bet you, you ain't do that, did you? Because you probably feel like you ain't did nothing wrong. You probably feel like you can go around doing what you want to do to people, treating them how you want to treat them. And then you get to pray to God. You got to repent. You got to ask for forgiveness. The rules apply to everybody, all of us, not just you. So when you hear men and women of God speaking the word of God and you want to get upset and call everybody Bible thumpers and acting holier than thou and all of the stuff y'all like to call people, it ain't us. It's the word. 
we're speaking the instructions on everybody's life. Not just my life, not just your life, but the world's. He's the son of God, the son of humanity. He died for everybody. So we can either just keep telling lies so everybody can feel comfortable, or we can all start to get adjusted to hearing the truth. Which one you want it to be? God bless you. I pray this edifies someone. Be easy.